a photo op six months in the making. A government coalition for the Netherlands, led by the far-right leader Heert Wilders, who promised to stay true to his party's hard line on immigration and to opt out of the EU's new asylum system, even if it took years to do. So the first use, um, the Dutch law and the crisis law we have uh, to make sure that um, there will be less influx of asylum seekers in the Netherlands. And um, that is something that we don't need the European Union for, that is totally compatible with European law. Wilder said the Netherlands planned to follow in the footsteps of Denmark, which negotiated a deal to be excluded from the EU's asylum policies. But an EU spokesperson appeared to pour cold water on that idea, but added he would wait to hear exactly what the Dutch government had in mind. You cannot opt out of EU legislation in the past when certain um, uh, discussions were taking place on treaties. Certain countries, in the context of those discussions, negotiated opt-outs. But we are working on the basis of existing treaties. The EU's pact on migration and asylum includes tougher borders and shared responsibility among the bloc's members to take in asylum seekers. The new rules come into effect in 2026, and the deal's passage comes ahead of Europe-wide elections next month, in which immigration is playing a major role. Meanwhile, as Dutch politicians outline the government's new policies, it still remains to be seen who will be prime minister of the EU's fifth largest economy. Prime Minister Mark Rutte is retiring from national politics and is expected to be tapped as the new NATO secretary general. Wilders himself has shelved his ambitions to be PM amid widespread unease over his anti-Islam and anti-European views. Spotlight on the dominant